our first date, you gave me a plastic ring as a joke, and today you give me a real one. Dominique, my dearest wife, you look stunningly beautiful, like you always do. I give you this ring as a sign of our marriage. With my body, I honor you. All that I am, I give to you. All that I have, I share with you. Within the love of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. My love, I'd like to start off by reading a prayer that I wrote in my prayer journal more than three years ago. I wrote this prayer titled Husband and Family. Heavenly Father, I've been putting this one off. It terrifies me to think I may ask this and the answer may be no. Jared Seymour, my childhood friend, wants to get engaged to his girlfriend. And as happy as I am in my life, I felt the sting of longing to also get married deep within my soul. I can't explain it, Father, but it is there, and I want to ask if it is in your will, please send me my husband. As you say in your word, Genesis 2.18, Then the Lord God said, It is not good for a man to be alone. I will make him a helper who is just right for him. Woo! And Genesis 2.24 says, This explains why man leaves his mother and father and is joined to his wife, and the two are united into one. Lord, please, send me the one that I am perfect for, and he is perfect for me. Let there be love, joy, passion, faith, and children in our relationship. Let him be easy to submit to, let him guide me in your ways, and let me be his helper. Let there be no dishonesty or adultery in our union. Let there be true agape love and friendship. Let us be best friends and passionate about each other. everything that was said in this prayer. You are my favorite person in the whole world. And when I look at you, I don't just see a good man, but you are the best man that I know. There are many things I can promise and vow to you, but the most important one is love. I love you. I've been crazy about you from the start. You showed me that true love do exist. <laughs> Through ups and downs, laughter and heartaches, you stood by me and did not run away, and I love you for that. You showed me my worth and you appreciated me even though I had my flaws and that means everything to me. As time went on, we both knew what we wanted. Marriage, children, a home of our own and to raise a God-fearing family. Proverbs 31 verse 10 to 12 mentions the values of a virtuous woman. It reads as follows. Who can find a virtuous woman? For her price is far above rubies. The heart of her husband doth safely trust in her, so that he shall have no need of spoil. She will do him good and not evil all the days of his life. I believe I have found that in you. 
There is no words to describe the level, level of joy and excitement that I have to start this new chapter in our lives. From this day forward, I promise I will love you with everything in me for the rest of my life. I promise that I will guide you with kindness and diligence. I promise that I will always put you first and that I will take care of you with all my might. I promise that I will leave no stone unturned to protect you, as there is no one else that can take your place. I promise to honor you and respect you as my wife. I promise that I will lead my family as the head of my house to always seek wisdom and guidance from our Father in heaven, as there is no other place to get it from. I promise that I will always be faithful to you, no matter what. I pray that our love and devotion to one another will only grow stronger every day till the end of time. I now belong to you till death do us part. Corinthians 13 says, Love is patient and kind. Love does not envy or boast. It is not arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice at wrongdoing, but rejoices with truth. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. So I vow to love you every day as unconditionally as possible. I vow to always see the best in you, to be faithful to you in every way, to always put you first after God, to treat you with kindness and respect and to uplift you, to not fight you, but to fight with you against the problem, to communicate openly with you and never shut you out, to support your dreams and be your sounding board, advice giver and secret keeper. I vow to be the best wife I can be. I will be your helper. And I, with that, I will be your best friend, your lover, and one day, the best mother to your children that I can be. I vow to spend the rest of my life trying to make you happy. And I cannot thank our Father in heaven enough for borrowing you to me. And it gives me great comfort that one day we will both spend eternity with our Savior and Lord. But while we're on earth, I know I couldn't be spending my life with anyone more perfect for me. So thank you for choosing me. I love you.